Good day to everybody out there. I am in Kaihin Makuhari. I'm gonna let these people go by for a second. So my mission today is to just basically show you how to get to uh, uh, Makuhari Meisei. Makuhari Meisei is a big convention hall over here. I'm at Kaihin Makuhari Station, which is the main station from Tokyo Station to get here. You take uh, this station. And from here, I'm gonna walk there. It's not that far, but I think that this guide is gonna give you an inside look into what to expect if you do come here, because uh, tens and tens of thousands of people come to Tokyo to go to conventions here, like the Tokyo Game Show and other um, anime and manga uh, conventions. So let's, let's, let's get out of here. People are pretty polite. They don't walk up this side, even though it's crowded. So this side, people are coming up, so it, it's pretty orderly. The estimated time of arrival is about 12 to 15 minutes, so it shouldn't take very long. Right now, I have what is like a suica, so that's how I'm going to get out of the station. It's probably a good idea to get a suica or an icy card to make it easier. Uh, you don't have to wait in line to get tickets. Okay, here we go. This one's from Osaka, it's called Ikoka, but it, it works here in Tokyo. Let's go to the IC cards. Boom. Welcome to Makuhari, everybody. All right, orientation on this station here. So there's two sides of it. You wanna go at the south exit, Minami Guchi, the south exit to get to Makuhari Meisei. Here is what it looks like. That's what the south exit looks like. There it is right there, south. So it's pretty clear. Now behind me, that's the north exit. The north exit are where all the buses are. So if you want to go to the Eon Mall, to Costco, to um, uh, some of the uh, buildings over a little bit further away, or if you want to go to Marine Stadium, which is where the um, Latte Marines play, that's a baseball team here, you can get a, catch a bus from over here. But we're going to go this way. This is the south exit. And it clearly states, it's pretty, you can't even miss it. Makuhari Mese, right there. You can't get any clearer than that. All right, here's the exit. We are now on, in Chiba Prefecture. This is no longer Tokyo. And basically you just, you walk straight. It's, it's very easy to get there. Makuhari is a new city. It even says so right here. They're proud of that fact. Um, on the left side is, is, I guess we'd call it an outlet center. They have a lot of outlet stores, um, brand shops that, that have created this shopping mall here. And you can get things at a discount. Um, I usually don't shop at the outlet park much. You can see outlet park in the center. But it's there. So people going to the conventions will, will uh, stop in there. But... The thing is with, when you come here for the Tokyo Game Show, it is so crowded. You probably can't even get um, 4G Wi-Fi. People just from the station all the way there, it's like one big line. Once again, this is the Japanese baseball team, the Marines. They have a mascot, looks like a duck, because they're on the sea, or is it a seagull? I, I can't really tell. And the Marines have a, I believe it's a, it's a, um, 100 yen bus that takes you to the stadium during game day which is very cool so let's take let's get to makuhari meisei now makuhari meisei is uh one of the biggest convention halls in uh, japan it's massive and the reason why that they they have it out here is because there's such a lot of land available it's cheap it's very, very convenient. There's the station, that's Maku, uh, Kaihin Makuhari Station. It's very convenient to get here uh, from Tokyo Station. And it's not that far of a walk. 
I, and, and one of the reasons why I like coming out here is because you get that sea air. You can smell the difference in the quality of the air between Tokyo and Makuhari. It's sort of got this weird... I'm gonna take you up. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take you up this way. So we're just basically going straight from the station. This place is packed when they have conventions, but today's a weekday, so there's nothing going on at Makuhari Mansei right now. So I'm gonna go up these stairs here, and uh, you'll start to see, it, it has like this weird um, feeling of being in, a, in the tropics. You'll see these, these uh, tropical trees sometimes, which is pretty cool, because uh, it's a lot different than being in central Tokyo. So now we're going up the steps towards Makuhari Mesei. <laughs> it's a really nice spring day. The cherry blossoms have ended in Tokyo, but Hanami lives on as visitors from, a, from abroad make their way into Tokyo one week late. late. <laughs> Okay, QVC, which is a big um, t TV sailing, selling uh, channel, has their headquarters here, as well as a lot of companies have headquarters here. Trekkers, thank you. Where are the vending machines? I think they're, they're down there. They're closer. You can kind of see it already, Makuhari Mese, the big convention hall. We're going to hang a right here. Now, these buildings have a lot of offices, and, and what I like about um, this is, it, if, if you need to get a go to the convenience store or use the restroom, sometimes this is a better idea than waiting to get to Makuhari Mese because it, it's so crowded on event days. It's tropical, look. This is Chiba. Chiba has like this weird tropical feeling to it. It could be like Miami or something. Where's Crockett and Tubbs? <laughs> All right. And it's pretty much going straight. We got a little map here. This is the complex over on this side. Two skys two uh, tall buildings. I wouldn't call them skyscrapers. And inside there, there is a Lawson's or a convenience store. There's some ramen. There's a, um, an, an ocean garden. I almost said Olive Garden. So there's a, there's a couple of other restaurants here, which I think will... Oh, an Indian restaurant. Oh, it's so good. I'm hungry. Lemongrass, Thai, Asian. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to go this way. The wind is picked up because we are, are basically, this is the sea. And Makuhari also has a beach, which is pretty wicked. Now, the water is not that clean. I think it's because a lot of the ships coming from, from, the, from the Pacific they enter into Tokyo through this area, and I don't know, it's just sort of not the best. Thank you, BS Fat Boy. Not kind of, kind of the, not the cleanest water to go in, but people do swim, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the water in this area. Yeah. All right, so you got some big hotels here. I think one of them is the uh, App Appa Hotel Resort. Appa Hotel is a, a chain of hotels that, oh, that's a new Otani. Okay, it's a new Otani. Most people do not stay here for the events unless you know some a company is putting you up for the night. The prices are reasonable out here, but there really isn't anything else to do besides the events. That there looks like a, uh, an abandoned building. Like I was saying, there's not that much to do here. Tourism is not that high except for the events. This looks like an abandoned hotel. It's on, that's on my radar. <laughs> Because there's some abandoned places that I think would be pretty cool to check out. It is a little bit creepy looking. Now this is supposed to be the quote unquote new town. And yet there's buildings that are abandoned. Alright, we're here. I told you it wasn't going to take very long. This here is Makuhari Mese. Let me get, get to the other side. Well, we're not quite there yet. But you can see it's just a massive, massive. Let me see if I can cover this up. A massive, massive convention hall. Um, Tokyo Game Show, the entrance is over here to get in. So you're, you're actually just about halfway. 
So the way we came, you can either go on the left or on the right, and both of them can connect right here, and you can come on in. Hey, Tarun. Thank you. This is the Makuhari, uh, Kaihin Makuhari uh, Station. It's, it's, it's a reasonably close walk. I, that's why you don't really have to take a bus, even though some guidebooks recommend that you do that. Now, if you want to go to Costco, which is where I, I uh, did this, the Costco sushi taste test, and I've, I've shopped at Costco Japan, there's a massive Eon Mall about uh, 500 meters, half a kilometer this way. You see where that tower is just over there? It's massive. It's one of the biggest shopping malls I've ever been inside. And there's a Costco there as well. So I'm going to go there and eat some lunch. That's sort of why I'm here. I got to get some supplies. I go to Costco maybe once every two months and I'm out of coffee, which means I'm out of gasoline for editing videos. So I needed to gas up for, for another uh, hardcore edit tonight. But there's really not that much out here except for the event convention hall. So I, I don't see a lot of people live streaming here today. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> hey, there you go. I'd love to take you to the beach, but it's sort of out of the way. So if you want to go to the beach, you just keep going straight and um, past this new, new Otani Hotel, and it, the beach is all on this side. If you go this way and you keep walking along the beach, you get to the baseball stadium. Oh, thank you, Deej. Mr. Vogel, I appreciate it. We're on our way to Makuhari Mese. Gosh, I have some really fond memories here, and it's it's sort of weird. It's sort of weird to come here when there's nobody here. I get the entire convention hall to myself. It's, it, it's absolutely massive. Take a look at the map. There you go. It clearly says Makuhari Mese, so we are here. All right, we're down there. See that little dot? That's us. And then we have eight massive halls that either to Tokyo Game Show. All right, Tokyo Game Show takes up all eight of these. And I think that there's stuff going on in this international ex exhibition as well. That international exhibition is across right here. And they usually have... Um, they, I, last time I was here, they had a big dinosaur uh, exhibition, which is super cool. And here's a map of where we walked, just in case you want to use this for reference. You can take a look. It's not that far. We just walked from here to here. And you can see the beach is right there. There's, there's the stadium. This is the ocean. So we're very close to it. We got a nice breeze, uh, very fresh air from out here coming in. And Makuhari Mese is just massive. And when I come here for the Tokyo Game Show, and I'm thinking of coming this year as well, but instead of doing one for the main channel, I want to live stream it. That means I got to get a dedicated Wi-Fi, which is going to be really hard. Or go on Media Day, where, where um, uh, there's not as many people here. But it's just always exciting to be at the Makuhari Mese. Now, normally on, on event days, ch check it out. It is absolutely crowded with people. You can't even see the, the ground if it's a, a, a convention is going on. But today, we have the entire place to ourselves. It's international. You can see it's, it tells you welcome in, in uh, English, Korean, Chinese, and uh, English again, but with a weird font <laughs> to make it look cool. Yeah, there's nothing going on. It looks like a ghost town. Thank you, Foxy G. A uh, messy is a German word. I didn't know that. Thank you, Lee. No humans. I'm the only one. This could be like one of these zombie apocalypse zones. They, this would be awesome to film like uh, an episode of Walking Dead or something. Makuhari Mese. And this would be like a horde would be in, in the center here. And the people would run out and go, hey! Whoa, it's a horde! Get out of here! Run the other way! Yeah, that's I think that's how I can see the scene, the scene going. Something like that. It does look abandoned. Um, this is a Tuesday, so there's not much going on here. I believe that there are some things going on for the Olympics during 2020. Because it's such a big event hall. They have um, 
something has to be going on here. You can see me, my reflection here. This is the Tokyo Tokyo, 20, uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympic uh, logos. And you can see there's some uh, uh, surfing events. This is gonna be one killer Olympics because they have skateboarding, they have surfing, they have baseball, they have gold, gold ball. Wait a second, what is this sport? Gold ball? Is that like handball, but with a goal maybe? Sit, what, it, what? Wait, these are not Olympic sports. Sitting volleyball, has any, anyone ever heard of this? This might be the most bizarre sport I've ever seen. So how do you how do you move around? You just use your butt cheeks and and walk your walk your body around. I've never seen sitting volleyball before. This this must be something new. It's certainly not an Olympic sport. Ta taekwondo, fencing. These are normal sports. Wrestling. And here's beautiful Chiba. Chiba is famous for surfing. They had they do have some good waves. It's not amazing waves, but it's good waves. Just, I never heard of this sitting, this sitting volleyball before. That's really bizarre. And this wheelchair fencing is, looks pretty cool. I'd like to see that. Very neat. Chiba. It's just empty here. Rent is so cheap. I bet. All right, let's put these uh, super chat to good use. So I'm gonna get a drink here for y'all. What do you think I should get? Wow, peach flavored water. I, I haven't seen that before. Again, right, right near the most popular drink in Japanese vending machines is green tea. Cause I just put it, put up a um, la, a only in Japan main episode, and they had this. No, it's all sold out. Look, Urikiri, Urikiri, Urikiri. Why? They're all sold out, man. I was gonna go for this because it's small and it's strong. It must be concentrated. You just shove a whole piece of ginger in there or something. They do have a cafeteria. Again, there's the bus stop, but what's the point? It takes just five minutes to walk here. That's the, the baseball. This one also goes to the baseball stadium. And there you go. There's the entrance. Should I rocky? I'm gonna rocky this thing. Da -da -da. Here we go, let's rocky this thing. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 da 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 Chiba! <laughs> There's no, this isn't the art museum, but hey, we can go in. Hold on a second. I wasn't expecting that. We just rockied those stairs. Oh, well, let's take a look. You guys with me? So, for the Tokyo Game Show, this is the way I come. And the press, I always get a press pass, and they set it up over here. And uh, you have to uh, give them two business cards. And then there's the entrance and the banner, Tokyo Game Show. But today it's just us. Literally, there's no humans. This is kind of creepy. What is this? There's nobody here. There's like no events happening. There's no people. There's not even zombies. You'd think at least it'd be some kind of undead something. It does look like an airport. But in general, this down here in September is just filled with people because of the Tokyo Game Show. And now it's just, it's, it looks like a gymnasium. It's a massive, massive empty space right now which is a shame.
Oh man, this is awesome. I wonder if you can do like a 50 yard dash. No, you could do a, a full quarter mile. You could run all the way from there and to the other side. I think that's like a kilometer. No way. That's awesome. All right, so come back here in September and we're gonna do a, uh, a live stream for the Tokyo Game Show. Oh, there's a human. Say, say hello to the human. He wouldn't, he wouldn't acknowledge me. Could be walking dead. He didn't acknowledge me. <laughs> he wouldn't acknowledge me. I, I, I tried to make eye contact and he kept his head down. Walking dead. It's awesome. Well, there's like a zombie police guard. Check it out. No way. So there you go, that's Makuhari Mese. Eight event halls plus an international forum on the top. What looks like a concert event hall, which is right here, which is pretty killer. You can get some concerts in here. And there's an international conference hall. It's international, so Japanese can't use it. Um, you need a passport. I'm just kidding. You can, anybody can go there. And the station's on the top, so don't take bus, walk it. And it's not that bad. This is entertaining for you. It was for me because you kept me company. Now I'm going to Costco to get some pizza because that Costco has some pretty darn good pizza. The last thing I'm gonna show you is where we're gonna end because, uh, you know, this is like 20 minutes of just going to a convention hall. This here is uh, Chiba-kun. Chiba-kun is the mascot for Chiba and they wanna welcome you to Chiba Prefecture, which is the state of Chiba with these vending machines. And I'm gonna share these vending machines with you. So tie to Chiba-kun with the international international um, event hall back here. And this is Chiba-kun, the Yurikiara or mascot for Chiba Prefecture, a very active place. And I like what they've done with this vending machine. They've put in some Japanese designs. Um, you have the crane, the cherry blossoms, Chiba-kun with flowers, and an array of drinks. Like, what can you find in here? Peach Fanta, which I drank in a uh, competitive um, peach drink uh, and with this one, which is peach coke. So they're all both of the peaches are here and blood red orange Fanta So they have the uh, entire fruit range here um, This one is a new drink by gin by um, uh, Canada dry. It's called the Tansan and Tansan means um, carbonated water Tansan Sui But Tansan means mr. Tan or people with tans and that could and I could, I could qualify for mr. Tansan what? You want me to get that? All right. All right. I do it because I love you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one. Well, I don't know what should I get. All right, I'm lost. So should I get the Tansan, Mr. Tansan, because I am tan naturally, or should I go for the the strong ginger ale, or should I go for something that I absolutely don't want to drink at all, like peach water or peach coke, which I already drank or blood red Fanta, what do you think? Boy, and uh, over here we had the, uh, this the peach Fanta, but I've already drank that on, a, on, another, on another stream. Peach water, strong Canada dry, ginger ale, peach Fanta, ginger ale, blood red, tons on, blood red, first one, buy both, whoa, he's insane, real gold, blood red for the win. Momo Fanta, Tansan, monster, no monsters. Blood Red, Ku, uh, okay, I'm looking at the stream. I'm all really confused, you guys are all over the place. So I'm, it's between the Blood Red and the Tansan right now. All right, who's gonna say it? Three, two, one, Blood, okay. I said three, two, one, and the first one that popped up is the one I'm gonna buy. All right, so this is the Blood Red Fanta, and this is because you guys are special. At I got 500 yen, this thing is going in to the machine. 
and I'm getting this blood red Fanta for you guys. It's been awesome. This, which one? Middle, left, right? Which one? I'll, oh, I just go in the middle. Boom, here you go. They played a jingle. They, that wasn't just the coins falling, they played a jingle when the, when the coins were coming out. Very cool. All right, put that in my pocket. Oh, it's all shaken up because it fell. Blood orange Fanta. This is cool. Like they made it, they made it look like a really bloody. Nice. It even says blood orange on the bottom in katakana. All right, let's try this out here. Open slowly. <laughs> I know it's all sugar. Look, you know, I'm I'm drinking this for you guys because I wouldn't normally drink this. I'm I'm a. You know what I drink normally? I drink just carbonated water. I'm putting a tripod on the bottom here. I just drink carbonated water normally at home. I don't I don't drink any sugar drinks because I you know I I found out that when I was drinking Coca Cola up 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 here up here up 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 yeah. So I was drinking Coca Cola. I actually didn't care about the sweetness of the Coca Cola. I just wanted the bubbles. I just loved the bubbles. They hurt and felt good. It's like you know when you when you when you when you break wind, it, there's this discomfort and then that good feeling <laughs> and it's done. I'm just saying, it's like when you drink the, the carbonated water, there's this a slight discomfort, then it just feels good. And I guess it's something similar to that. There we go. That's what I mean, uh, Mr. Acria. All right, open it slowly. This could go wrong or it could go right. It's smoking. Whoa. All right, here we go. All right, this one's for Nosh, and Nosh, I, by, the, by the way, Nosh, while I'm drinking this, um, hold on a second. I like Fanta. Fanta, it's not too sweet, and it's not too, too um, heavy. It's, it's slightly, it's more refreshing than sweet. I like it. <clears throat> All right, thumbs up. I, I can't taste any, I can't taste anything that, that would say, this is blood orange. But I, what I do taste is, a really sweet, slightly tangerine-ish, um, sweet drink. That's, that's about it. Mmm. Fante is good. So, um, j just for Nosh Abroad, because I know Nosh, when, when I was, um, when we were at Hibia a couple of days ago looking at Godzilla, uh, I bumped into two YouTubers, and I got a, I got a uh, Facebook message from, from one of them this, this morning. I'm gonna tell you which one. And uh, very, very nice guys. Just fo they were following up to say hi and that, that they were apologized. That's right, to Otaku, that they apologized for ruining or uh, uh, interrupting the live stream. And I said it was no bother at all. In fact, it made it even more awesome. And yeah, I think our schedules, if, if they meet up, hopefully we get a chance to, to hang out a little bit uh, this summer. So um, yeah, it, it, it was pretty cool. And I know, no I remember they, they were saying that they saw some of the same people who watched the live streams, which is. Uh, uh, also probably watching right now and Nosh is one of them so uh, thank you for bringing us together Nosh you know you encouraged me my friend and I like that we are looking out for each other Nosh is one of the moderators or somebody who will, who will block you if you are, are very rude to, to other people I, I appreciate that kind of help there, there you go there's uh, Makuhari in the distance this is the the new town and my final destination, I'm not gonna take you there. <laughs> I'm not gonna take you there. Yeah, Nosh is an MVP, man. Right there is the uh, Eon Mall, and um, I'm gonna go there and get, get some Costco supplies. I hope they've restocked on, on the good coffee. I like the Rwandan coffee. There's something, there's something exotic about Rwandan. Kilimanjaro is just not, not heavy enough, but Rwandan, man, whoa. No cars. This place on the weekdays is like zombie town. <laughs> Literally, there's no... Look, you see anybody behind me? A few cherry blossoms, and this is... this. Is, I, I do have to end, guys. <laughs> you see it? A few cherry blossoms, and they really stand out. There isn't too much, um, too much out here. Look at the streets. Look at this. There's a car. Wide avenues. No cars. 
this is you know, if I'm gonna rent a car and practice driving I would do it out here because this is the safest place the only thing that could destroy me would be running into a tree <laughs> look at these wide avenues I like it all right everybody thanks for joining me on this uh, um, spontaneous and uh, somewhat pointless unless you're coming to g for the convention hall right there uh, live stream. I think this is gonna be useful. I think this is gonna be a really useful live stream for people who are coming to Chiba and this, who knows what what I watch you guys guys watch this one get like a million views or something just because a big convention is gonna happen everyone's gonna share this video to, to help to get to the, the final destination and if it was helpful I'll leave a comment below and there's a link in the description to, to with the map in this area so you can check out where I was um, but I do hope it was very useful for you and, and you had a good time watching this uh, coming, coming with me as we make my, our way to the Eon Mall past Makuhari Mese. Oh, they're filming something. Past Makuhari Mese. I, I went past um, um, Ikea on the way here. Ike, we say Ikea in Japanese and, and uh, in America we call it Ikea. But here we call it Ikea. Ikea. So I passed Ikea uh, on the way here. There's people behind me. Gotta speed it up. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Got to take my blood red orange phantom. Thank you guys. Phantom thanks you too. Have a good one. Later, later. Oh, nice hat.